All right, good evening. Um, looks like we have our full AOE staff present this evening. That is super exciting. So here we go. Um, it is five o'clock. We're going to go ahead and get started. And as people join, I will continue to admit them. Um, also, I just want to kind of divert your attention. You can drop questions in the chat. If we have time at the end, we will address them. Otherwise, we will do a follow-up email or some other communication to make sure that your answer your answers come back to you. Um, but I believe I have Chris sharing for me. Chris, will you go ahead and slide advance? So welcome to tonight. It is a parent informational night for the Academy of Excellence. We are so excited to have you joining us, getting any of your questions answered, kind of clearing up any um, misconceptions or confusion that there might have been in the past and making sure that we are successful moving forward into the future of this program and making sure that our students are really set up for success because that's what this is all about. So some brief introductions. Um, good evening. I am Erica Selsey. I'm the Director of Educational Technology here in Cave Creek Unified School District. We're so excited to have your kiddos as part of our online academy program. It is wonderful to have them here and wonderful to have you joining us. Um, tonight, we also have Kelly Zivchek, which is your Academy of Excellence principal. If you, she wants to give a wave, I can see her face. Um, we also have present tonight, Chris Aiden, who is our data integrity specialist, and he's going to be talking about a few things um, that you can be doing as parents to make sure that your data is up to date, whether that's atten attendance or grades related. We also have tonight, Eva Tomaszewski, which I hope I didn't just kill her name, is our AOE counselor. Um, and she's got some input tonight as um, it relates to Navion. So we're excited for that. And we also have Ms. Patty Jefferson joining us, which is our Academy of Excellence Administrative Assistants. Assistant. Also tonight joining us, we have our AOE teachers. So we are so excited to have you here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pass the baton over to Ms. Kelly Zich. Yes, and also adding, we have our K-5 teacher, um, Lori Johnson here as well. And then did you get um, Susan Goldberg? Did you say her name too? Yes, well, okay. I said both teacher. of our teachers are here, but I was so oh, okay. I did not I did not say their names. So thank okay, you. Okay, just double checking. Just wanted to know their names. Thank you. We'll go ahead and email this out to everyone for so they can be informed about our progress and as we self reflect for AOE and improve our practices. So first of all, I just wanted to thank everyone for being very patient and flexible this year as. All of us on here learn AOE, reflect on it, and make it better each and every day. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is parent responsibilities. So first is to make sure you're keeping up to date on student progress. So talking to your student and ensuring that they are keeping pace with the course expectations and classwork. So we don't want them to get overwhelmed and behind. And also track and submit student attendance to the school every week. And then we will talk a little bit about attendance in a couple more slides. And also provide transportation for your student to testing locations for in-person person testing requirements. And moving on to the next slide, we just wanted to show you a few examples of student tracking tools. So for our K-5 students, we use Buzz. And for Buzz, we have the option for parents to have an observer mode. And if they are in the observer mode, they can view grades and progress of their students, and they can also see assignments. So if you're interested in this, you can reach out to myself, and then we can make sure that you're set up for the observer mode so you can view your students' grades, progress, and see their assignments. And on to Edgenuity, we use this platform for our 612 students. Um, we are going to do a better job this term. And so we are going to start emailing daily session reports or progress reports at the request of parents. And also at the end of November, before we go into the month of December, I'm going to email out a progress report for each of our students for term two so parents can see their students' progress. And if they have any questions, they can reach out to us. And also we have the option to add a family account for Edgenuity. And similar to the Buzz account, if you want this option, you can view your students' grades and you can track online session time for your students as well. So if you would like to set up an account for the observer mode, you can contact us at the school and we can set up an account for you. And the navigation is pretty simple and you can go ahead and view the guide on the portal here to find some articles to help you as well. 
And here's just a few examples of what it would look like if you were in the observer mode in Buzz, which is what we use for K-5 students and how you can view your students' courses that they are enrolled in at this time. And for Edgenuity grades 612, if you would like to have an access code to set up your family portal, you can give us you can reach out to us and it'll be able to give you information on course progress, grades, sessions, activity times, and you can also opt to have emailed progress reports. So this is something that we were able to dig into Edgenuity and Buzz a little bit more to help parents track their students' progress a little bit more efficiently. And you can also have reports emailed daily or weekly. And the email report shows current grades information for your students, courses, and if they have no session activity as well. And the next slide shows you a little glimpse of what that will look like on Edgenuity. So if you have a 6 through 12 student. So it gives you everything from a student snapshot, student reports, progress report, top navigation, and also just a little glimpse of their courses and how they're progressing in them to making sure that your student takes on, stays on track for their online schooling. Okay, now here's Mr. Aiden with attendance. All right, uh, I just wanted to briefly go over some of the attendance rules. I know that some of them are a little bit confusing for some people. Um, it could be a little hard to understand uh, how online attendance is tracked and how it's supposed to be done. Um, all of our attendance for our AOE students currently tracked through uh, Google Sheets. Uh, each parent should be given access to the Google Drive that contains the sheets for their student. Um, if you do not have access to that, you can reach out to the school and we can provide that to you. Um, in that folder, you will find uh, a sheet for every single week that your student is enrolled in the academy. Uh, those have to be hand filled out by the parent every week. Uh, it, go, it runs from Monday to Sunday. Uh, there's also going to be in there the attendance agreement that you signed at the beginning of the year, and it will also contain some instructions on how to do attendance every week as well. So everything that I'm going to cover in this, as far as attendance goes, will also be in there in a file of its own, so you can review it as well. Uh, you do not need a Google account to access these files. So as long as we can share, share it to your email address, you can just log in and view them at any time. Uh, a new sheet will be created for you every Monday, uh, but it has to be filled out and submitted um, at the end of day Sunday. End of day Sunday is 11.59 p.m. Um, if you're unable to get this to us uh, by then, please communicate with the school and let us know that either it's gonna be late or um, you, know, you were out that week, et cetera. Uh, the school is a year round school, the AOE. So it does not observe holidays. It doesn't observe normal breaks that you might get in person, but time is flexible in the AOE. So if your student does want to observe those days off, they are able to, but uh, you will have to have them make up the missed minutes of attendance later in the week. Um, every All the minutes on every single sheet is displayed at the bottom what is required for the week. That requirement is calculated based on 36 weeks of, in, of uh, class activity. Uh, you can do more or less each week, depending on how long you're going to be having your student do the courses. So if you know, they plan to do it by for 40 weeks, you, know, you don't have to have the exact amount on the sheet every week, but you do have to have a minimum amount by the end of the year to be considered a full-time student. And that uh, minimum amount is in the AOE agreement that was signed. You just have to check in there check for your student's grade level, and it'll tell you how many minutes they have to have by the end of the year. Um, next slide to show you. So this is what the time sheets or the attendance sheets look like in every single folder. Uh, I broke it down a little bit for you to know what goes where. Um, you want to put the course names for the courses that your student is taking so you can track the minutes for each individual course. Those would go in the A, A slots there on the side. Uh, B is where you would put the minutes that they spent doing online activities. So when they're actively doing their course in the online system that their grade level is involved in. Uh, for C, that would be where you put any offline minutes. Offline minutes that you track can be include things like studying, um, any extracurricular activities they do outside for that course. Like if they you know, go out to some um, museum for their science class or if they attend any um, uh, extracurricular math activities, et cetera. Um, 
down at the bottom there in the D section, that is where it's going to add up all your total weekly minutes so far. So ideally, that total will either equal or exceed the requirement every week. But again, depending on how you want to flex out your students' time, um, it can be more or less. So it's not a hard cap, but it is a suggestion if they want to be able to be full time, just going week by week. Um, in the E section down at the bottom, we would like to at least have the parent name and signature on there. The student name and signature would be nice as well, but at least having the parent on there to show that you have seen these minutes, you do acknowledge that, you know, you fill these out and acknowledge that they're true. Um, again, attendance is due every Sunday night, uh, 11.59 p.m. Um, if you are late or missing for the week, please notify the school. It's should be treated just as if it was going to be an in-person if they're going to be missing. So if you're going to go out on a family vacation for a week and they're not going to be doing anything, just let the school know that we're not going to be expecting any attendance for that week so that we can make sure that we make note of that. Um, for any past sheets that you do have filled out already, if you notice an error on there, for instance, if you put down 15 minutes when you meant to say 150 minutes, if it's already beyond that week, please do not edit that sheet. Uh, reach out to the school and notify us so that we can make the edits ourselves because we do have to do a few extra steps in making sure the attendance is accurately reported to the state. Um, a failure to submit attendance each week can end up resulting in your student being dropped from the program. Um, just like an in-person school, if you have uh, unexcused absences, eventually the student can be dropped. And it's the same with the AOE. Uh, we do need to have attendance reported every so often for a student so that they can see that the student is actively participating in. Um, if a student does get dropped because they had no attendance at all reported, they will not receive credit for any work that they completed. We cannot submit any completed coursework to the state without <laughs> credits attached to it. That is going to cover the attendance at least. Um, I'll leave, give it to Kelly over for in person test. Yes, and for in-person testing, um, all the state requires testing is done in person. And also this goes for cumulative exams. So at the end of the course, students must come to Desert Sun Academy to take their end of course exams. And a little, a couple, probably a week or two before cumulative exams will start, I will send out a Google form like last time to communicate with families of how to set up a testing time and day that works best for our students. And just a reminder that transportation to and from testing is the testing site is the parent's responsibility. And uh, Ava will cover the Naviance bit here. Hi. So each year, the Department of Education requires documentation to show that every high school student has an education and career action plan. And we call that ECAP. And it just shows that it addresses their academic career, post-secondary and extracurricular activities. The minimum required for the AOE program is that all students complete a four-year year plan as part of their graduation requirement. So like if a student is coming from Cactus Shadows in ninth grade, Cactus Shadows requires students to do this. And then each year after they have other things they do. But for AOE, our only requirement is that they get that four-year plan done. So you want to make sure they're getting into Naviance and, um, and, and getting that complete. Naviance account, and they have a code provided. Um, most of them have that. I've sent out reminders for students who haven't completed them. Um, Upon request, parents can also receive a separate code so they can access their student's account. But in addition to that, there are a lot of other resources available to assist students with career exploration, interest and personality inventories, college searches, and even transcript requests can be submitted through Naviance. So I would strongly encourage you to explore that and get to know that account because there's a lot of really good information in there. All right. 